Hi, everyone. This is Joey Buzzatel, and welcome back to the Ecumania Connection podcast. And I think more and more people now are getting to understand that word, seeking fulfillment. Say it again, seeking fulfillment, not money, not property, but just finding something inside of yourself. Now, on today's show, we've got someone very, very special. I don't say that word lightly. She's special because she's an angel with such a talent and creativity. And this woman's going to be a star all over the world. She's a, an amazing Melbourne artist who is going to talk to us about her life. And I'd like to welcome to the podcast, Melissa. How are you, darling? Look what, look what happens when I talk to you. I fog up. I know you do. <laughs> it's the heat. It's the heat, it's, Joey. It's, it's, the heat. The, it's the energy coming off. It so, is. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. And I know that you came blind. You had no idea what I was going to do and what was going to happen here. But before we start, do you want to just quickly just tell the audience a little bit, a little bit about what you do? Yeah, okay. I, hi, everyone. I, um, I guess in, uh, it, it, as quickly as I can, I love to create and draw nudes and take my mind and my body all over the world and create abstracts with the emotion of that. Um, I'm an artist, a creator, and... Every single day I live and um, do my dreams. So, yeah, so you're literally living in some sort of pur purpose already, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I've been curious to ask because I always wonder about artists. Like, did you know from the very beginning that this was your calling? I would, I'll be honest with you and say yes in and around about way. I was born, I was... Oh, when I think about it, before I even can remember back in time, whether it was three or four, I was drawing in my grandmother's lounge room, knowing then that it took me to a different place. Wow. So it just, there, there's something in here. I can't explain that because I'm not good with words, but the but emotionally it was where I was meant yeah. to be. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense because, you know, I think when I try and draw, it's yucky. It, I can't do anything right, but I can do other things. And I think it's yeah. it's good to know that, you know, you, that was um, part of you at the beginning. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's begin. So your first question is, I want you to tell us what you think is strange about you. What is your strangeness? That's a good one. I've got lots of them, I reckon. Do you? <laughs> You know, so what, well, what do you think of the main ones? So the, at least one, at least. You know, can, can I quickly say, I, okay, at least one, I'm so over the top compared to the norm. But you're an so, artist. Isn't that normal? Yeah, for me it is. That's exactly right, Joey. And I've actually, I've been surrounding myself a lot lately with creatives and I'm realising, oh, my gosh, this is this is great. This is fun. They get me. Yeah. So what, a, I guess what, a, that's... what, a, what about people that say, I mean, because of that fulfillment thing and you know what you want and, you know, you're looking at the things about you that are strange, how did you deal with that when you weren't around those people? Where Did you get any, any people trying to bring you down? Oh, yeah, all the time. And it still happens now. But I'm old yeah. enough now to just go, I do this. A ding <laughs> in, my, in my brain, I'm going, see ya. Yeah. So, but growing up, no, you, 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 I was still myself, but then mm. I had to take the oof because it would be like la la la, and then all of a sudden I feel this oh my heart. It was an energy, you know, like yeah. Because I, I, I was, I was wondering if the um, because you know who you are, because I think again, artists and creatives are, are a little bit fast track because you know other people have to think about what they want to do. Well, I think it's already in you. So in some way, people try and bring you down. There's a, there's a something that is resilient to that, I think, because you don't really allow it to, you know, you don't really allow it to influence you. Yeah. I'm, I can thank my dad for that because my dad was poor. I think you know a little bit about those stories. But yeah. he taught me, so he gave me that, the worst of that, but then he told me how to deal with that yeah. and, and, like, be strong. So, yeah, it's an interesting thing. Mm. I, was, I learned very young. Yeah. Now, I know that this question is going to be easy for you because I know the type of person that you are, but, you know, are you able to identify what you're thankful for? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, do, do you, and how do you utilize that, that, you know, how do you utilize that stuff that you, you know, is good for you? I live it. I just allow it. To, I allow me to be that. I allow me to 
just like now, there's across the road here, they are being vaccinated. Bless them, because mm. we're all going to be. But I, every morning I yell out to them all, you sure you know what you're doing? With this laugh, and then everyone laughs out there. Yeah, you know, okay. Rather than it being morbid, and everyone's in this line ready to be jabbed, and mm. it's usually morbid when you look out there, and then I come in, then, and even the guys, <laughs> the nurses, I, because I'm cool with me. I, yeah. I mean no harm, I mean love. So, And, and what happens when, uh, you know, you know, both of us, know we know each other, and I know that there are, it's not ideal to be like that all the time. So how do you then cope with, when you when something isn't working for you and you know that you're a grateful person because I know you are, well, how do you reconcile that? Because you can easily do you think do you go into a, a place that pulls you away from that, or are you able to stay stable? I actually thought of you this morning because I did it this morning, and you know what you were saying to me in my head? What? Just stay. Not that you've ever said this, but this is exactly what you would be telling me to do, Melissa. Just stay in your shoes and let it go. Yeah. So okay. I did it today for the first time in really well, like it was gone in a second, and then I turned the radio on and started singing. Yeah. So I had a moment this morning feeling really like I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, it sounds like it sounds like you're you're actually becoming more connected with um, surrendering. Oh, big time, Joey! Thanks to you, big time. Yeah. So again, it, all these questions are actually all feeding into each other from the answers. I so I, I want like to know. It. I want to know how Melissa does self love. So are you able to see, again, because you know what you love, and I guess you, and I'm going to say this word that may not re- connect with you, but as an outsider, it's like, you know, I, th- I think sometimes being a painter and an artist, it's like a bit selfish and lonely and isolated because you can't really sit around with people and do it, can you? So, no, ha- I wish you was isolated <laughs> and lonely. No one stops coming in here to see me. I can't no. get a break. Leave me alone. No, but what about when you are creating, though? Is that happening then, too? It. I love it. Joey, I love it. I could make love to myself. Like, seriously, I love it. So is that, your, is that, your, is that, your, is that your self-care? Is yes. That, all right, so what else do you do? So How I else run. Do you, you know okay. I run. Yep, yep. And I tell myself that I'm sexy as fuck and I'm wonderful. Am I allowed to swear on this podcast? Yes, you can or do whatever you want. You can yes. do whatever you want. I know that you're, Sorry, I told you, you're the queen today. <laughs> I so, tell myself, yeah. So, I was say, uh, yeah. so you run and you do physical things. Anything yes, else? You know, I box and boxing releases every single thing that, that might be in your soul, body, blood, sweat, tears. It's at gone. You leave feeling like the king of the world, not a queen. Mm. I feel like a king. Yeah. So, then there's coming in here to this beautiful space I now own or rent and it's mine and say, oh, my gosh, I love you and thank you. And then I've got art to talk yeah. to me. Because that, 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 that gallery, it's only new, isn't it? You only created yeah. that recently. So yeah. what do your families think about you when you're, oh. like, you know, because you are a bit hyperactive, which I love. I love you because I'm I know. similar. But I did one around you. Do they keep up or do you have to slow down? Um, I have to slow down for them. When we're, yeah, when yeah, we're yeah, having yeah. A, I, that's funny you say because I've now got to talk to myself and say, right, calm today and be cool because when I have family events, yes, I've got to, I've got to calm down fifty percent at least. Yeah, like yeah, for sure. Because like I guess they wouldn't, they wouldn't keep up. Nah, it's full on. But then they'll love it every moment. Then they'll want it for a minute, for a moment. Then I've got to re- know when to calm down and all yeah. that stuff. I wonder if, I guess I was just thinking, I wonder if because you are living in the idiomania and you are connected to fulfilment, if that's why you have a surplus of energy. Do you think that the energy comes from that? That when you do find your ha- happy place, it's as if you don't have to worry about all the other things that everyone else has to worry about because it means, you know how everyone worries about stuff? Yeah. When you, when you find your peace, you don't really worry as much. So that means you've got more time in your head or your body to actually sure. be active like you are. True, Joey, but I've often wondered, I even ask this, I even ask myself all the time where I get it. Do you I, I was gonna ask you in our next session yeah. if it could be my twin that gives me that extra bit of energy. No, because I don't I, I don't yeah, so, I think it's you. I think that you've just because you are you're never tired. No. Even there's a woman, she's an actress, so I won't say names, yeah. but she's incredible. She's on TV, we watch her all the time. She comes in here just to get a whiff of my energy. 
Yeah. And it just, she just walks in here to get a piece well, of meat. Well, that's interesting. Do, people, do you feel, do you ever then get drained when people do that? Yes. Because, yes. you know, that's the thing. You know, you are like a light, right? And the mosquitoes yeah. want to come. And eventually that's you're going to have to not. say, you have to say, you know, so going back to that self-care question, do you do anything to help yourself keep the energy within you? Well, this is going to be, it's interesting you're bringing this up, Joey, because this is stuff, this was going to be all in our next session because I've got to get group on closing my doors Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and taking that time that we're talking about now, self-care, stay in my stu- my space, me, 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 not for everyone else because everyone else, I've got to learn to stop answering phone calls when I'm creating Lots of things that I haven't yeah. got a grip on, but that's for you and I to talk mm. about. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, I think that's, I get you because I'm, I mean, I was like that, but I have, that's changed a bit. But that's because you have this wonderful energy. And what happens I is that it. you don't, I know, but you don't realize that you're also human. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so all this running around eventually it will catch up. So I guess that leads into the next question that is um, like, you know, this is a very, you know, cliche question, but, you know, what, what are your strengths and what do you feel is a weakness? That My you have. strengths are the ability to be very happy in my heart. Yeah. Oh, and my God. That's so, you're so lucky, aren't you? Like, that's, this is oh. why this podcast is important because the words that you're using are probably words that people out there want and you're just saying it like it's just everyday stuff. It <laughs> is. It's just like so... Well, I know, but you're, but you're also you're also a showing that you work to get there. You know, like you also are indeed, invested indeed. in... Well, yes. every day you wake up and you make a purpose to be happy. You know, you don't. Yes. You don't look at the bad things. I, do you know what I do, Joey? Like everyone can listen to this. I think I've told you this before. Every single morning, mm-hmm. I get up and I'm literally. I haven't done this for a little while, but I'm literally rubbing my heads together like like cheeky little monkey, saying, "What am I going to get up to today?" That's that. how I look at my. And I'm fifty. Yeah. yeah. I've got three kids. You're optimistic. You know. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like, what's? There's no point in being doom and gloom. I want to mm. live and I want to be happy. I'm just beginning. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm asking these questions because I think they're important. So, what do you feel? Or what happens then when something is heavy? You know, I mean, like, uh, do you do you heavy? do you experience yeah. grief and all those other things too? Yeah, I take yeah. it on, and it's gone with a. I take it on. I really do. The and and. I used to take it on a lot more, but now as, I've, as I'm growing mm. and I'm so in control of my emotions, I take it on, I feel them. I, I don't know, the last one was a, a, a thing with a friend and it was gone within about two or three hours. Yeah, that's good. You know, yeah, you, again, it's, it's all your perspective, isn't yeah. it? You're not going to sit yeah. there and, be, and hold on to something. I mean, you, again, I know that a lot of people will be listening or watching this and thinking that you have to be born that way or you're, you know, they say, oh, that person's special. But everyone, I believe, has the ability. Do you agree? I do. Listen, yeah. can I, am I allowed to say yeah. something yes. really quite harsh? Mm-hmm. Because I love the one, I love this, what you just said then. Everyone just thinks, oh, yeah, well, she's just, you know, she's lucky she gets to do what she loves. And I haven't always been able mm-hmm. to do what I love. And I, I, I was beaten as a child by my dad. Yeah, mm. but I love him. Mm. I've just got an ability to just look at everything that's good in someone mm. because no one means to hurt you. It's what they're going through. Yeah. That took me a long time. But the ability to get back up on my feet, especially as a 10-year-old kid, you're getting beaten because you accidentally tripped over your dad's dog. Mm. and then you like. But I, I giggle at my dad and I love my dad more than I've ever loved him in my life. Yeah. you know what? It's just... It's an ability for you to use it. Yeah. You know how you use your mind and how you yeah. are. And you and you know what you're really saying is that you have a really clear way of healing. Yes. You know, it, it's that's the thing. It's like I think as much as I hate this word, but there is only one, two ways of doing things. That is, be a victim or adapt. And yes. so you, you know, you learn to the young. And I and I do I do think that creativity helps with that. Oh, you know, being, being creative helps you to see the world different. One hundred percent. I'm, yeah, dying, I'm, I'm dying to know what your weakness is. <laughs> okay, my weaknesses. Now I've got a few. I don't get the temperature. Young boys, I've got a weakness. 
the weakness. Uh, what is the weakness? Okay, well, what's think. the thing that you think you you have trouble letting go of? You have trouble saying no to. I know it used to be cigarettes, but now you're good. Yeah. Um. You know. Oh, how would I say this? Okay. Is this is this something? Is this so? <laughs> there was a little baby mouse in the studio this week. Yeah. Okay. And it was hurt. Mm hmm. Now, this big, strong girl, lion, rah, over here, was out on Greville Street screaming for someone to come and help me because I was so afraid and worried for the little mouse that I can't even save it. It's not about being afraid of the mouse. I was hurting so much. Yeah. I you think, well, can I just be rude and say, was that, was that, was it drama? Like, did you make it that the was the mouse a drama, or was it really that you were you really hurting because of the mouse? I am. No, don't. Yeah. This is where everyone. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't, no, don't want to laugh. I don't mean to this laugh. This is where you can finally see something that's really not right in my head, and that is so. The last time my dog got hit by a car, I was by my the side of my dog, whose eyes balls were rolling at the back of its head, and I was screaming, doing three sixties. Someone had to come and slap me. No, I lose. I'm fucked. Sorry to well, say this. It means that, no, it means that you've got a connection to nature, that's all. And it means that you have compassion. It doesn't mean that you've, you've, you've got a problem. It just means that it you does. have... It does. I'm not connection. saving the animals that are I the know, ones that but, you know, that, but you probably will practice... If you practice, you will get comfortable <laughs> with that. You're just going to practice understanding the energy that comes with compassion. It's the helplessness See? of the... of the, of the help, It's the helplessness. I know, but then why do you mirror that? Why I do don't you know. Think, you... No, there's a weakness. There's a weakness. No, so, yeah, okay, yeah. So you feel like that's uh, you feel like that 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 you're weak in regards to seeing some an animal. What about a person? Does a person nah, also? Nah, I've been out on the road while someone's been bleeding to death, and I'm saving them while the ambulance is coming. No way, humans, babies and children. Yes, so babies, children, animals are my weakness. Okay. Um, Okay, what else? Quickly for you, weakness, weakness, weakness. Well, do you oh. think do you think that you take? Uh, well, what I'm curious about is see how you you've got the gallery and you're an artist. Do you feel that you know how to say to yourself, okay, I need to stop doing this. I need to go home and be your mother. So you have yeah. is art your weakness, and you end up substituting things for art, or are you able to say that you can turn that off and you can you're able yeah, to? Yeah, no, that, I can you know? turn it off. No, no, no. Okay. That's, if anything, I've got to learn to say no to other things and be in here more because that's what I'm facing. Right. I'm saying and, yes, and you know, yes, and, you, yes. and you know what you, where you're, you know, that's the next question is where are you going? So that, going. That, that, sort of, that, sort of, that sort of goes with that question of you, Mal, being disciplined and being focused on the, that question. So where are you going? I'm going around the world. Right, okay. And so do you want to explain what that means? Like yeah, what, on the I, want to, I, want to, I want to know. I want to know how that what you're going to tell us was a creation, like a tiny little thought, like a while ago, and now, you know, how did that work out for you? Because I know that you're creative, you know, yeah. and do you, and again, and secondly, do you feel that you manifest what you want? Yes. If I could lift this around now and show you the mood board that's been with me probably uh, six years. And that changes all the time, but there's things on there that I've gotten. So this is one of them that's on there. Lots of things, right? Paris, New York, I've, I've exhibited there. I've done those things. So where I'm going is, so I'm with, an, I am already international, as you know, mm. and I'm currently creating celebrities for a, a agent in New York, in the States and UK. I've spoken to the gallery that represents me worldwide that in the next 12, 12 and a half months, I'll open this beautiful La Galleria in Paris. Oh. So my goal will be seven months probably Europe and maybe three to five here. That's okay. how the next 10 years yeah. will play out. It's sort of like you're ready for the next level. Oh, God, yeah, I'm ready for not more levels than that. Yeah. So how, again, this is very important, listeners, how do you process that? Because you know you're you know you're creating something, and you need. To, I guess there needs to be some sort of process for you to look at what you're creating and know something inside of yourself. Because otherwise, I'm guessing that you'd go into doubt. I never so, go into doubt. There's never I, doubt. I love ah! that. Yeah, that's good. Never well, that's doubt, the right man. answer. You no. honestly look at your work and there you own no it, and you know. Any more doubt? You have. You know what? I've always had that, but you. 
Joey Festuti, you have made me realise there's no room for doubt. It's only, yes, I will. It's only, I will be there. Not maybe. I'm go- I already see myself there and, and getting off the plane, coming home for a Melbourne visit. And so you, does that that, does, yeah, it does. I mean, I love that. And so do you now know, you know, because of that, do you now, again, what, is it, what does it feel like? How do you, how do you I'm know? I'm sweating. Like, that's how it feels. Are, are, you, are, you, so but are there things in your day-to-day that's creating that, that path? Yeah, right now there's, yeah. Um, so right now it's a new, so already I was international with the gallery, which was how I used to think of, well, it still might be the way I get there. Well, it is because it's all part of it. But then joining an agency a month ago that has opened me up now to the world. Like, Latoya Jackson only just wrote yeah. a message to the agent to tell me that she loved the piece I did for her. Wow. So. It's like there's already yeah there's there's so like fun. synchronicity isn't there and like when yeah. I met you you didn't I mean this is the other thing it's like I don't think you ever mentioned the gallery right and no, then all of a sudden you just said oh I'm opening up a gallery and I'm thinking oh my god she's on fire you know so yeah, yeah. That, that's pretty amazing um yeah. this question is I guess um a little bit uh, it could be ra- you know it's pretty big and random but like what do you think Melissa's legacy is going to be and what are you going to? Yeah, what are you going to leave the world besides your art? I want you to make it more about you. Like, yeah. what do you think you're going to leave behind in regards to making the world a better place? Confidence to do it my way, not being told how I should be doing. And, and so, who's your, so? Your, will your kids learn that from you? Is that, you know, is that how you're going to yep. leave it on? Yep, I tell them yep. all the time, and I only just did a speech recently at the gallery opening that you were you were invited to. Um, in front of about 150 people, I just said to them, standing beneath me, to follow their dreams, no matter what it is, mm. never let go of it, no matter what gets in their way, and don't ever listen to someone that says you can't do that. Because my yeah. dad, ever all my whole life, was you can't do that, you can't do that, you yeah. can't do that. Yeah so. yeah, so 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 that's, you know, I love that. So do you think that they're going to be, that message will be put into your work and people will feel that? Yeah. Yeah, so, you, you know, so everything about what you do, because you're, I mean, one thing I love about you, and I will, if it's okay with you, I'm going to post a bit of your, a bit of your artwork on this podcast. Yeah, but, you know, I feel like you don't have any boundaries. It's like, sometimes I look at a picture and I go, I mean, I only do it for a second, okay, I just go, and then I just relax because I go, because I, I realise it's you, but I'm thinking, oh my God, like, she, you just don't, you don't, it's not that you don't care, I just think that you're so vulnerable and you're so in it that you instantly just forget everything. Like, yeah. that's what I feel when I look at your work. I do. Everything just stops. Yes. Isn't that amazing? So true, Joey. That is exactly what I do. Yeah. I mean, so how do you? How, how are you going to deal with the haters and the negative people? You know, and I want you to try, I know that you might say, oh, I don't really care about them, but I really just want you to No, think, I do. Yeah, I, I want to know what we can do as a group, as listening to this, about how we can deal with, because there is a lot of hate at the moment. There's a lot of people that are heavy. So what's your it's take fun. on that? How do you deal with, I mean, like you already demonstrated one thing by going outside with the vaccine people. You yeah. know, is that your, do you think that's your thing? Is it about your voice or is it about your art? Like how do you change change the way that people leave the negativity to come a bit more like you, align with you your way? So you, so you mean for other people, not for me? Yeah, like, I mean, because you're so happy, right? And because people are, you've already demonstrated that people are, are drawn to you for your energy, right? You already mentioned that. So you've got to remember that there's going to be, yes. ha- haters are going to be also men- drawn to you, right? So it means that you may notice a lot more negative energy around you. So I just want to yes. know how you deal with that. Because at the moment, I personally believe that the world's a bit negative and heavy. Yeah, big so time. How do you deal with it? Okay, so... It's interesting. So I normally feel it from certain members of family and friends. And every every so on, often I catch myself talking to myself about myself going, fuck you, you know, this is what I did. And I, and all of a sudden I realise, oh, my God, why am I doing this? It must be someone's vibing bad energy of me, right, because yeah. I believe in it so strongly. Of course. I mean, and I get, let us just look at you. Yeah, right? And just like you just said before, there's so many people out there going, oh, my God, is she posting that? And you know what? It's taking me. I still get uh, lost in it and get a bit, uh, and then I just, it's almost like I click something in my brain. Mm. I slap it 
and I go, you're not going to worry about them. Come on, you've got lots to be thinking about that's amazing. Let yeah. that go. And it I, and it, it, it's also, it also attached to being a woman, I think, as well, isn't it? Like, like well, do, you, do you do you well? I'm just I'm just asking the questions. Like I love it, and I don't think about it, about it. But I'm just wondering, do you, you know, this whole thing with negative energy. Do you feel that some guys look at it and they, you know, do you think that have they have you have had any encounters with men saying things? No, it's more the chicks. Wow. Okay. The men. I don't, I don't understand love, that. I don't. Do I don't understand stuff? that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the men. girls. The girls are uncomfortable, are they? Yeah, I'm feeling the women. It's not the men. Well, you look great for 50, so I'm getting into some jealousy there. You're also very talented. And also <laughs> you're the biggest you. exhibitionist out I've ever met. I know, right? <laughs> any sure any reason to spray any my... reason to spray gold Lights paint off. on yourself? It's like this woman, by the way, people just sprays her body with paint every day. <laughs> no, I do, I do. Do you know I'm, I actually I'm doing a photo shoot here on Friday and I have the statue of David in the corner of my gallery and I'm I can't do this because it's but do you know I want to pash David? Why not? I want to, well, I know why not. But no, oh. you, honestly, you 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 come you come from a world right that offers <laughs> you. That is why I like doing these things because I can sort of I can leave my life and go into this world right. But this yes. is nothing compared to what you can do. You can actually do anything because you know art is subjective. So yes. then you've got to question yourself why you you know why you doubted yourself or why you're doubting yourself about the David statue. No, I think because, um, I'll be honest, you know Madonna, right? Mm -hmm. I love Madonna. But Madonna just goes, for me, yeah. one step too far. Well, okay? did you see her Did you see her last on the weekend? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like time to, 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 to stop. Yeah. I shouldn't say that. Whereas, <laughs> no, and see, the thing is with me, I don't. I create women, right, and I create nudes. But as an artist, it's in a different form to what mm -hmm. she's portraying. Well, hers, so, we can we can get confused with hers because uh, it's about her not getting old. Yeah, there's a, there's, I can feel that there's a desperation there. Yeah, desperation. There's a perfect. Whereas what I do, it just comes natural and it's beautiful. And you know, but then kissing David, I'll be honest, that's not where I'm at. That's something yeah. that's in my. I, I post. Because it's in my head, but it's yes. not physically what I want to do. Does I, I that make that. sense? Yeah, yeah, and you could probably get another idea from that idea. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly right. There are just yeah. some things I'm. Yeah. yeah. See I'm how still quick the time's gone. Time, time goes quick with you. But I want to ask you one more one more question, and that yes. is the um, if you could like you know if you could just put everything in your life on hold, what would be one thing that you'd want to learn? Oh. Like what's oh. something that you, you know because. You know, you're dedicated and you're very good at what you do, but if you could be anything and choose something else, what do you think you'd want to pursue? Acting. To find that happiness. You're still in the stuff. arts, aren't you? You're still in the arts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 100%. Did you never have a desire to do anything, you know, menial? Always wanted to be an actress. <laughs> always wanted to be a, a rock star, uh, artist, swimmer. No, that's so different. What you're doing. Swimming is so isolated. You'd probably be bored with it in the first lap. <laughs> no, but that's the thing, you know, with my running, I do this because I have so much fun in my head. Mm. So swimming used to be, I used to swim like 15Ks wow. three times a day. Yeah. So it, I, I have so much fun in here. So, yeah, no, 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 it's it's, yeah. it's a good thing. And I love feeling strong and fit. Yeah, so. with the boxing. So let's yeah. end, I, like, I, I know that was the last question. But I want you to end it with a statement. And what would you, I want you to look into the camera and I want you to give a message to all the girls listening. So okay. what would you want to tell the girls out there that uh, look at you and might go, wow, I'm really, look at her, she's, you know, living her dream. What would you want to tell them? Okay, easy. So something I remind my young cousins and my kids, we've got one life that we know of right now. There's many lives, but right now we're living this life and we're born to be happy. So give this life everything you've got, be happy and just Go for it and own everything you do. You are such a beautiful person and I love that you came into my life and I came into yours. And thank you so much for sharing your, you know, your layers that make you happy. And you can see, like, you know, you know that I learned a lot about you in this interview more than I have known. Wow. Like you really radiated your happiness. You like you are an authentically happy person. I am. 
you know, people must hate you. They do. <laughs> people must look at you and go, oh, my God, why is she happy? We've got a virus and we've got to have a vaccine. And you're just I like. I know, just, right? Yeah. I know. No, well, you just said it. You're, I know, but you're living in the moment and you realise, like, you know, I heard these stories on the weekend about the um, some of the Jewish people that were at Archwich and how they survived. And they survived by being like you. Oh, really? Yeah, because the, uh, the majority of people, well, I, you know, I, I thought about it in my head and going, I would probably be like the ones that got depressed and sad and frightened. But there was a handful of people, and they were mainly women, that lived their life like you do in the moment, even though it was a depressing place. So they survived. Yes. Have you seen the, the movie Victor Bella? No. It was about a Jewish man and his son and every in those camps. Oh, is that Life he, is Beautiful? Yes. Yes, yes, and I've he, seen that. Yeah. Oh, well, that's one. There you go. That's what I was Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. So you, you never really, that's why I was trying to get you to answer a question where you shared something that was vulnerable, but you actually really authentically see things in a perspective that makes you realise that there is no bad situations. And I really am starting to really follow that philosophy. That's why I created this podcast, because it's all about it's your perception. So thank you so much for doing this. I'm honoured. So I'm honoured that you've had this time with me today. No, like, but you're the you one are... that's you're the one that's living this life. So you're no, the one you're that's highlighting. You're extraordinary. <laughs> thank you. So thank you, my darling. I'll see you soon. Okay. I can't wait. Thank you so much, Joey. Bye. Bye. Bye so everyone. you've been you've been watching the Edaminia Connection podcast. So make sure you watch out for the new podcast every Wednesday. Now I say this every time. Please hit the likes button and subscribe so you can get notified of all our GOAT content. I've got so many amazing people from all around the world talking to us about what fulfills them. So until next time, namaste everyone, see you soon. Okay.